After Odin and Thor enter your house, Kratos swiftly denies a peace treaty that Odin proposes, knowing that he's being far from genuine. This then leads to the first proper fight of the game, as Thor launches you high up into the sky with his hammer. The resulting fight can seem extremely hard due to the strength that Thor possesses, but if you're smart about it, you'll manage it with no issues. So with that said, here's how to defeat Thor in God of War Ragnarok. Once you land in the first location, Thor will immediately rush you and land some attacks. The thing about Thor is that he hits hard, but he doesn't hit fast. A lot of his moves are easy enough to identify and subsequently to do something about. Occasionally when he attacks, there'll be a circle that appears around him, either being red or yellow. If it's a red circle, quickly hit X to get out of the way as those attacks cannot be blocked. However, if it's a yellow attack, wait for him to nearly strike and hit L1 to block it and this will leave a gap for you to attack him while he's stunned. When attacking him, you'll be able to get about 5 or 6 hits in before he regains his composure. As soon as he does that, your hits will still do damage, but he can absorb them and still attack you whilst doing so. What I'd suggest doing is attacking for a few hits, and then as soon as you see him stand up tall again, back off and wait for your next opportunity. The most surefire way to get some hits in is by parrying his yellow attacks with L1, but you can hit him normally if he gives you a moment without attacking. Another move he likes to do has him charging up and thrusting you backwards with force. These, again, are easy to telegraph once you've faced them a couple of times, so just watch out for it and make sure you dodge out of the way. In the first stage, you'll want to be dodging a lot, as you don't have your axe here, so it's basically a straight up fist fight. One thing that will massively help you in this section is your Spartan Rage, so as soon as your meter fills up, activate this and go to town. If you land enough strikes, you'll be prompted to do a heavy attack while he's down, and this will trigger the next cutscene where you finally gain access to your axe again for phase 2 of this fight. Thor will also have access to a couple more moves, including an unblockable ground strike that creates an area of effect around him. Once you see the red circle pop up, dodge backwards with X to make sure you avoid it, and you should be good. He's still going to be hard to hit without parrying, despite you now having your axe, so just continue to be patient and wait for an opening. If you do manage to dodge one of his running claps, you can attack him while he's off balance, which will allow you to get some good damage in. But don't try and hit him too many times, just get a few in and back off again. Keep dodging and attacking until you get him down to the last bar of health, which will then give you another chance to attack him while stunned, causing the next cutscene. You'll be thrown high up out of the location and through a bunch of debris until you land in front of Tyr's statue, where you'll be prompted to hit Thor with a pillar. During this next exchange, there's going to be a few more pillars around you that you can pick up and hit him with, which you should definitely be doing. Also, he'll have even more ways of hurting you now, including an unblockable hammer throw that you need to dodge as soon as you see him charging up. And he also has this combo move where he strikes you three times. Now, for this one, I was able to dodge the first two, but due to the timing of the third, he managed to hit me. If you see him go for this, hold down L1 and get your shield up to block it. It's going to take some timing and getting used to, but once you get it, this attack should be easy to deal with. Also, as you're fighting him, make sure to watch out for the health orbs around your feet, as these will come in clutch throughout. When you get him down to half health, another cutscene will begin where you need to hit circle a bunch of times to stop him. I don't know whether I didn't press it fast enough, but he managed to overpower me and knock me out. But then he got me straight back up again seconds later and continued the fight, so I couldn't tell if this was supposed to happen or not. The next part of the fight is easy, just continue what you were doing before by dodging and striking and eventually you'll be able to hit a heavy attack where he's stunned and it will send you into the final phase. Here you'll get a really cool animation of your axe and his hammer colliding while you both just walk around casually talking. Once that's done, you'll enter the final location and he'll yet again have some new moves, mainly this area of effect one that attacks three red circles that show up on the ground around you. From my experience, these are pretty easy to dodge, so just make sure you're nowhere near the red circles, then keep doing what you were doing. It's important to always use your Spartan Rage when you can, as this does a good amount of damage to him and gives you some breathing room. Keep chipping away at his health until he only has one bar left, and you'll have successfully defeated him. The resulting cutscene will end with you landing a powerful punch and Thor being satisfied with it, as all he wanted to experience was the force that took down his sons. And that's it, he'll leave you alone and you can get on with doing whatever you were doing. If this video helped you out, then you should check out this other God of War Ragnarok video on screen now.